is Allison Sterling of the Canadian Best Practices Initiative speaking and I'm your tour guide for some of the many sources of evidence for child obesity prevention interventions. Most of these slides have been provided by TEEP towards evidence-informed practice. And here you can see four categories of evidence which are relevant to public health. The academic and research literature, gray literature, and advice which is from both content advisors and informed colleagues. Now the academic literature can include um, that which is published in peer-reviewed publications which is considered reliable, credible, and high quality due to this peer review process. But there are limitations. The lag time for publication means it may not be the most current. Subscription costs can often limit access. The research may lack local context relevance and we rarely know what to do with the evidence or how to implement it. So some ways to overcome this. Use free access electronic databases and quality reviewed sites which have critically appraised the evidence. Seek advice from experienced individuals who can recommend credible sources. And here's one of those sources, the Canadian Best Practices Portal. This site provides a rich description of effective programs that has over 350 evidence-based best practice interventions, a database of resources, and many planning resources and links. And you can also recommend interventions or resources to this site. And it takes some example of searching on the portal. You can browse through interventions at a glance. You can do a quick keyword search through the search center, which you'll see on the left. And for example, on child obesity as keywords, you would get 36 results, which is what we see on the screen. You can also take those results and submit them uh, for a simultaneous search on healthevidence.ca. And you can also search by icons, such as the obesity one, which would give you 54 results. Healthevidence.ca is a free searchable online registry for abstracts of systematic reviews and meta-analyses on the effectiveness of public health interventions. It offers quality ratings and summary statements with um, how to find the resources that have been identified. It, while it lacks implementation advice or specific program details, it is an excellent resource for evidence of an effectiveness of an approach. Public Health Plus is a searchable database of abstracts of critically appraised systematic reviews and single studies. These are rated by clinicians for relevance and newsworthiness, and their website is updated weekly with links to PubMed where possible. While it lacks implementation advice or program details, it also provides strong evidence of effectiveness. The Effective Public Health Practice Evidence site of McMaster University features topics reviewed by public health practitioners and the summaries provide um, implications for practice and policy. There are a limited number of topics and it's not searchable but it's an excellent resource. The Cochrane Library is a repository of systematic reviews in six databases. Um, they are, no interventions are presented but it is a valuable resource. There are very few current reviews on child obesity and those that do exist are captured in health evidence. And Obesity Plus is sponsored by the Canadian Obesity Network and McMaster University. It offers a searchable database of evidence from over 130 clinical journals focusing on obesity and an email alerting system. It focuses on clinical practice and there is much for public and community health practitioners. Canadian Obesity Network provides an excellent source of news, events, and contacts with members. An example of their news by childhood or adolescence is presented in this slide, and you can see the recent reports and news on this particular topic. And lastly, the American Community Guide website includes 18 different health-related topics, including obesity. It focuses on program and policy interventions which have been shown to be effective and are right for a specific community. You can look at interventions in community set settings and how whether they are recommended or they have insufficient evidence. 
Um, it is great for use for effective strategies, interventions, and policies in public health. There is much more. However, these are offered as free research sources of evidence on obesity issues. Enjoy your searching!